Okay, I call these Margaret size steps because Margaret was four foot eleven, but they are much much lower than the average steps in, in houses. So bedrooms on this floor. This uh, bedroom was Portia's. Uh, that bedroom belonged to Margaret. That bedroom belonged to Booker T. Once again, it was Victorian times. Most people could not afford two separate bedrooms, but uh, they did. They had separate bedrooms. Now, Portia's bedroom also has a closet. Uh, most of the bedrooms do which is also a little unusual in this time. Now, uh, Margaret and Portia actually shared a bathroom. Another interesting thing, he doesn't have a shower. <laughs> you don't see those. Uh, but, you now, Portia and Margaret did not get along either. Uh, uh, Margaret, uh, had a little bit of jet and streak. Uh, uh, Portia was, uh, you know, adored his father, so they competed a lot for his time and attention. He wasn't here um, a lot of the time. And uh, um, when Portia got married, her her quote was, uh, "I'm glad she's. I'm sure she's glad to be rid of me. Now she has my father all to herself." <laughs> so, <laughs> So the bathroom sharing thing worked out. And also noticed these bedrooms are big for the time period. Mm -hmm. That is uh, the fireplace, it, but it's got a very ornate, I don't know if they're about to take it out or not. Uh, it's got in his T N S I Tuskegee Normal and Technical School. Maybe it's in okay. T N T S carved into it, which was the very first name of the school. And it's under restoration right now or something? No, I don't know why they didn't uh yeah. if they're finished in here, so I don't know why they didn't know. Uh, Mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. this, you can't tell me this is not all the way. They said they fixed the road. My knees haven't cleaned it yet. Mm -hmm. It's fine. It would be a problem. <laughs> Lights or is it? There's mirrors and lights, so I don't know. They're like it's supposed to be like a sauna, I think. Okay. And also, I pretty cool. Uh, you see, I always make people guess what this is, but these are the dumb waiters. And this is one of the ones that you can see that goes down. I mean, this, of course, wasn't here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, and this, this is the closet door stays closed, but this is one of my favorites. This, this closet, it took me a long time to figure out. Now I just let people guess, but if you look at the stairs, uh -huh. uh, there's the stairs going down on the other side. I believe that is why it has stairs because of the, the curve, you know, the, but uh, I think that was cool. <laughs> it's interesting. Okay. And here is the boys' room. Oh, okay. Sorry. Bathroom to boys' room? Yeah. 
Which is interesting. It's just interesting. It's so interesting shape that. Oh, yeah. But the tile work is old. As far as I know, uh, I know the tile work's original. Most of the floor work is original as well. And, uh, and done by students? Yeah, I believe so. And this is supposed to have gold. I think this is gold leaf, but and the uh, pot tank. And I don't know if that was because of the uh, water pressure, maybe. <laughs> but I don't know why the rest of them aren't like that. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> It's chilly in here. Okay. Here's if you're up here. Yep, and need a light. Okay, perfect. This light is here. Okay. There's two switches right there. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. So, do these porches go out too? So, if we want to yeah. get a shot well, out there. Is, uh, you know, back in the day, they did not have air conditioning. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, if you notice, all the windows in this house, they knew how to build houses to get cross currents and things like that. Okay. You know, they figured that out. But these these were considered sleeping porches. That's what yeah. kind of what they were yeah. named. <laughs> you know, okay. but it was just too too hot to sleep in the house. That's the a lot of people that's common in this uh, okay. this area. Okay, so that's that's now, This is really cool. Uh, this is the chair that goes with that. Okay. And this is the other one. These were given uh, by the family of a foreign student that was here. Uh, and they are just beyond cool. <laughs> but they, and so these are original pieces. Now, uh, the pictures up here. This Booker T's graduation picture. And they tell me this is him. <laughs> and these are uh, his diploma from Hampton, and these are from um, uh, honorary degrees from Dartmouth and Harvard. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe he stayed with this family when he first came to town. Uh, I think that's why they're there, but I can't remember the names. And then you have Taft, Teddy Roosevelt, Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, Booker T was uh, a, an advisor on racial matters and civil rights to four different administrations. Okay. Now, uh, Teddy Roosevelt, she invited him for dinner in the White House. And it was the very first time a black man had ever eaten dinner in the White House uh, as a guest. And uh, it was a really big deal. I mean, today, it, 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 you think of so what? But at the time, it was a really big deal. And the backlash against Roosevelt was tremendous. And I don't think he was anticipating any of that. He did kind of uh, back away a little bit. I mean, he supported Booker T and, and, and all of that, but I think that kind of uh, probably woke him up a little bit about <laughs> what the world was really like. Yeah. But he, uh, uh, he was a lot more careful, you know, about uh, his uh, interactions with Booker T after that. And we have George and Martha Washington, and I don't know why they're here, but uh, I do know this, that Booker T uh, chose his name. He was Booker, that's all he was when he, uh, when he was born. And uh, he, when he finally got to school, all the other kids had two names and he didn't. <laughs> so the teacher got to him and he said, my name is Booker Washington. <laughs> he just picked it. Now, is it, you say, how does that work? But uh, back then, you know, a lot of people uh, either didn't have a surname or had the surname of somebody that enslaved them. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so uh, when they were able, they 
chose their own names. And that's why you have so many black families in the United States that are named Washington and Jefferson and Jackson. And <laughs> my name is Buchanan, it's Scottish. All the other Buchanans I know are black. <laughs> James Buchanan was a president at the time. So they chose the names, you know, that they knew. Okay. We've got Frederick Douglass, uh, Frederick Douglass and, and uh, Booker T uh, did not see eye to eye. Uh, the black intellectuals could not stand Booker T's uh, curriculum because it was shoe making and harness making and brick making and dress making. It was like, come on, man, we've been on that stuff 300 years, you know. Uh, but Booker T realized that, uh, you know, Regular people had to have a practical skill if they were going to feed their families, and, and so that's why he stuck to that. And everybody had a point, uh, but um, but the uh, Frederick Douglass did uh, give uh, a commitment speech here in 19, 1895, which was shortly before his death. And what I talk about when I first came in here is. Uh, I don't know how I how I come about it, but Booker T uh, knew how to play the game. You know, he depended on uh, wealthy white benefactors. When I first read that from slavery, you know, it was a lot of things like, you know, about you know, it's the life of slave. But then again, it would be like, no, well, slavery wasn't that hard. And white people were hurt by slavery too. So I went to the University of Arkansas and I'm like, what's up with this? And he said, he wrote it for white people. Mm -hmm. And he did. Because mm -hmm. that, he knew, he was a very cunning man when it came to, you know, uh, his wives. I didn't go into that uh, on the tape. But his second wife, Olivia, came from the North. She, you know, had uh, education in a white school. She knew it. And she taught him how to fundraise, you know, and he knew what to say. You know, it, it got him in a lot of trouble, but he knew what to say to people like Andrew Carnegie. You know, he knew how to tell people what they wanted to hear about the racial situation. And he took a lot of heat for that, uh, but it also got him a lot, a lot more funding than other schools because he knew how to, how to, how to do that. Uh, over here, watch your mm -hmm. uh, this guy, he's a, I forget his name, if I could read it, but he's a, uh, was a Russian poet, but his grandfather, he wrote the story of his grandfather who was a Moorish slave who was brought to Russia and wound up as head of the armies eventually. That's a story that would have resonated with Booker T. struck pretty strong. Uh, Samuel Armstrong, who was the founder of Hampton, uh, and that's where Booker T. went to school. Now this is pretty cool. This, this was done in you know, five uh, of Booker T. And uh, it's one of those paintings that no matter where you're standing, you run into the danger. <laughs> Freaks a lot of people out. Uh, this is one of the few brick fireplaces. I don't think there's another one in the house. And uh, the desk usually has books and stuff. I don't know if yeah. these might be in boxes. Uh, but you say Robin's going to take care of that. Mm -hmm. Watch it right behind you there. Oh, yeah. And I think certain items were on the list, like the foot stool. What is this a medicine, ball? medicine ball? That was also on the list. Why is the medicine I, that, ball for that, I believe, X? I believe that belonged to him. And is there significance to that? Did he work out in here, or why is there a medicine ball? Yeah, I don't really know, unless they just didn't know where else to put it. <laughs> and it and it is but, for working out with. Is that right? Yeah, I, I you know he believed uh, there was the story of the toothbrush. <laughs> I can't remember. Gosh, I gotta read through this stuff again. I'll never get the tour back that I had. But uh, one of his big things was, was toothbrushing. You know, 
and hygiene. He was really pushing that. So that would probably go in with his, he wanted, he wanted ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's what he wanted out mm -hmm. of these. So he, uh, you know, the, the religion, the, you know, the, with the church classes and all of that. And yeah. the, but the hygiene was big here, mm -hmm. you know, you know, brush your teeth. You know, yeah. that kind of thing, comb your hair. And so um, we actually have toothbrushes that we can Maybe away. we can write something up about how caring for your body and how he believed in just bettering yourself yeah. as a person have, and not just this, education. He strikes me as somebody that was very big on appearances. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, he was always a sharp dresser. I don't see any pictures of him. Where he's dressed down. Mm -hmm. Of course, back then people posed, you know, pictures mm -hmm. were a special thing. But the, that brings Carver into it. You know, Booker T was driven, determined, a sharp dresser, expected a lot of himself, expected more from you. And Carver, <laughs> bless his heart, was a, a free spirit mm -hmm. and a piddler and a dreamer. Mm -hmm. And he wore the same suit for 40 years. <laughs> it was a gift from Iowa State. But, you know, they butted heads all the time. You know, people talk about friends and all that, but you could not find two more opposite people on the place, face of the planet. Uh, but that's kind of, Carver was the kind of person that Booker T just didn't have any patience for. <laughs> and then the items on the desk, is there any specific significance to them? This, what's that horse's name? He used to ride around on campus. One of these chairs was a gift. No, I don't know, maybe it's this one. I was, I think it makes a table. I think we actually have one set up like that. Maybe this was a gift. No, I'm sorry. That's Sorry okay. that my memory is slow. <laughs> Um, and I feel like the vase or the pen and uh, inkwell set that they were items in the list as well. This was the secretary's desk. Lancaster Pierce. 